How are you enjoying your experience so far? Uh, it's been really good. Um, it, uh, I don't like in my notes. I don't know if you saw. I've taken a boot camp previously before, mm -hmm. and I don't feel like I feel like learning on your own is helpful. Like the way kind of the strategy that you have, like not alone, but like with the videos and then doing it and then videos and then doing it. I felt like it was a lot of like. I don't know, it was a lot more in depth this time, like going through it than, and, and the other one was just so fast, like so fast <laughs> and it was way too much information. Um, so, you know, no, nothing happened from it, of course. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. Yay. That's awesome. I love it. And we're going to change that. We're going to change that. So, well, our purpose together today is to really talk about your specific career goals and customize the internship experience and your training to get there. Uh, before we get started in that, though, I was just curious how you're enjoying your experience inside the Joy of Coding Academy so far. I'm liking it a lot. I did a couple classes in college around coding and I enjoyed it. And so when I started with like the basics, I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of understand this. I If it's like a lot of like this, then I'm going to breeze right through it. But I am in the, I finished the second module and I'm in the, the pre like the explorer phase and it's hard. Um, and I like that it's hard and that I'm learning from it. And I, I like that it's like covering kind of a lot of the stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully it's not too hard. Well, we do want to help you grow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's hard. And then if it's to the point where I get stuck, then I'm able to get the help for that. Right, exactly. That because that's the idea is that to help you become self sufficient, it, we do have to sometimes let it be hard. We just try to like control it a little bit so it's not all hard all the time, right? Yep. That there's ways to recover and reach out and get resources that aren't going to just spoon feed you, but actually help you become self sufficient, right? Yeah, so, and it's hard on like the final solo project task manager thing. It's not okay. like the rest of it was challenging but doable. This one, I'm like, Suzanne, I need some help. <laughs> That's awesome. And you've got so many resources there. So that's that's awesome to hear. Great. Well, yeah, because the solo projects do become challenging, right? Because it's like, gosh, you know, what? Do, how do I break this down? And yeah, no, all those things that you're learning. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. That's awesome. And thank you for that feedback because I just, yeah, I love to hear that. Um, but I think I'm so glad to hear that, you know, you're having a really, you know, awesome experience. And even even though there's challenges, they're, they're the right kind of challenges, right? Like it's to help you grow and become self-sufficient and nail that six-figure coding career. So awesome. Yeah. Super okay. good. I, I stopped and kind of took my time for a little bit because uh, in between my last boot camp and the start of the academy uh, was kind of like less than a week. So I got done with the whole boot camp and then less than a week in that. And so there were some things that I wanted to go back and kind of like from the boot camp and kind of work on more. And one was my Python story, which I was mm -hmm. able to put that on Replit. I saw that. That looks really cool. I had a lot of fun with that and I definitely plan on working with it stuff like that and i wanted to get a little bit better at trying to deploy my first website or web page and uh i've been struggling with that as far as on mobile but i think it looks pretty good on pc so that's mm -hmm. kind of what i stopped to take a break for that's awesome that's great excellent so you went may i ask i don't remember did you mention which boot camp you went to that was new camp uh and okay, new I, camp. Did a, I did a web fundamentals kind of pre-course for about five weeks um, and then I did a whole back end course, which did Python, uh, SQL, uh, and DevOps. Oh, cool. So I'm back end with SQL and DevOps. Excellent. So I'm just noting, I like to note this down because when we look to line you up with a project on the internship, right, this is, this is where we get to customize things just for you. I like to hear, you know, what your background is, what, and what your goals are. So that, that would be the next piece is, you know, what's the dream? Like what what kind of coding job are you looking for? What kind of career? Well, this is, I mean, all in the past year for me. Uh, my entire life was spent being a bartender and I worked on cruise ships and I kind of oh traveled around the world a little bit and I worked in Hawaii and uh, a lot of my experience is in New Orleans and the French Quarter and stuff like that. And then when uh, COVID and as I got older, I started to find that my job opportunities were becoming less and less and the money was going down and down. So I said, all right, well, let me take a break and think about what I want to do. And uh, weirdly enough, uh, I'm uh, a huge nerd and I play Dungeons and Dragons. And so I started getting into Google Docs and all kinds of stuff like that and then started learning about hyperlinks. 
and found that I became fascinated with it. And so I started kind of looking at what was behind all that. And then that led into the boot camp. How are you finding the internship training so far? as though that a lot of the stuff that I didn't understand fully in the boot camp is starting to make more sense now. Like it's the pieces are falling into place because before they're like this, this, this. And I was like, where does this start? And how is this? And what about, and I didn't know. But now that like kind of getting into, uh, I, I finished uh, this second project on the, uh, on the Explorer kind of internship. Mm -hmm. So it's great to hear, right? That you're getting that learning that, 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 that it really you were looking for so you could actually solve the problems and, and do the things and build the software that you want to create. Yeah, it's much easier when you can actually like do something and then see how it's affected on the screen. And I felt that all my learning t uh, before that was just do this. Okay, that works. And it's just like, I, I don't see how it works. So it's nice to actually be able to see what your work does and then see how it's modified in that aspect. And uh, that's really exciting me uh, as far as it goes and like and i start I, I find i have to like tell myself to stop having fun because like with the brick block breaker thing like i ended up trying to like wanted to, uh, to randomly choose the rgb colors every time the ball hits a block so the paddle wheel changes colors and then i put an image of a fireball instead of the ball so it's fireballs running around on the screen and stuff. that's awesome that's <laughs> awesome i love that i love that that's awesome oh cool that's great to hear keith oh my goodness so it sounds like you're about you're gonna be knocking on the door in no time to become a <laughs> to become an intern right that's yeah no i'm getting close I, I imagine i'll have the last few explorer tickets done within the next couple of weeks Perfect. Oh, so good. So good. And I'm, I'm just, I'm looking away just because I'm bringing up our information on you. And oh yeah, joining in November and you're already going to be an, an inch. It's going to be awesome. So you're doing, you are doing awesome. Thank you very so much. So good. So yeah, we're so excited to talk to you today. So that's great. I'm so glad you're having a good experience. And, you know, I was just curious, you know, what's the big dream? Like, where are you trying to go? So I have been self-employed doing online sales and marketing for 18 years. And oh my, my, my business has been slowly declining for years now. And it's finally getting to the point where it makes sense to transition to a working for somebody else. Right. I just want to get back to creating an income that I'm proud of. And my business doesn't do that anymore. Something. Right. Oh, yeah. You're so smart. You're in here for all the right reasons, right? Like, cool. this is great. And this is why I created this because you shouldn't have to like drop everything and spend four years in college right. just to learn these skills. Yeah, no, I was I was looking at master's degrees programs in computer science that would accept my general studies bachelor's program. Right. But, it, but again, it's just it, that does it. It leaves such a huge gap of no working experience, no uh, there's so much there's still so way so far to go after Great. i've got the master's degree so this yes. this when i when i just stumbled across this this seemed like the perfect solution it was a no-brainer awesome awesome thank you so much bruce exactly because yeah you go all, you spend all that time all that money to get that degree and they still don't necessarily teach you the the skills that industry is looking for absolutely yeah no you still don't have the experience piece which is Great. vital and it's uh, i'm not I'm going to be competing against people a lot younger than me. So I want to have some experience under my belt when I go into the job search. I mean, it's just, a, and this is a fraction of the cost of getting my master's degree. So it's, a, yes, no, and I, hopefully I time. Advantage. I took a day <laughs> Black Friday special. It was just an absolute no brainer. Yeah. And our goal today is really to help you customize your learning experience through the internship and try and get a sense of where you're trying to go. And then Tanya is listening for, okay, what kind of job opportunities can we stay on the lookout for for when you're ready? That makes okay. Sense. Awesome. So the first, so my first question, Christine, is how are you enjoying your experience so far? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I, um, uh, so far it's the best, um, uh, course slash, uh, this course I took at college yet. I have taken several courses since 2018. Uh, I'm talking about coding programming. And then I decided to finish college, which was in the county, but I decided to start all over again since I could not transfer any of the credits from Brazil to here. So I just started to start all over and I chose uh, soft engineering. And uh, so far your program, it's like a better um, curriculum and it's more, um, I think it's more hands-on, you know, doing kind of thing than just a lot of theory and uh, a lot of little, um, very small projects that's very like outdated. It's nothing that you're gonna do in the real world. So, so far I'm really liking it and no complaints, just uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, 
top notch. <laughs> awesome. I wanted to hear more about how you're enjoying your academy experience so far. Yeah, um, so far it's been awesome. Um, it's been really, it's been a really great experience so far. Um, I really love just the approach to problem solving that you've been teaching. Um, it's just been so intuitive and helpful to think of problems that way. And I really love the emphasis on um, like actually creating finished code products. Because one <laughs> thing where I get, really get hung up is I really like delving into like the theory and stuff. So I s sometimes will spend too much time making something too complicated instead of just finishing the product. That's great. Yeah, I'm not oh. overthinking. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for that feedback. We really appreciate it. That's awesome. And I, I believe I reviewed your code last week and it looked great. So we're super excited to, you know, help you move forward and, and get on that next step. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, I'm super excited too. Awesome. Yes. One last big win. And this, this is something you just brought up is the fact that I have been connected with some of the greatest people. Katrina, I would not be where I'm at without her without Julio, without Alyssa, without Michaela, those people that are a part of the program, and I'm not sure that most of the newer people understand it, but for those of us who have been around for just a hot minute, we come to understand really quickly that the support system that we have in place here is not only integral, it is the bedrock foundation for our success. And all we have to do is just start building upon it from day one. That support system has meant everything. That's why I am where I am. And what I've done has been because of that support system, not just because of what I was able to do, but was brought on by what they instilled in me, poured into me. And literally some days they grabbed me by the feet, kicking and screaming and dragged me towards the finish line. And that's awesome. That's that's something you just can't find anywhere else in life. Again, hi, I'm Dr. Emily. I'm the founder of the Joy of Cooney Academy. And we are all geared towards landing six figure dev jobs um, as our first dev job, right? Not as our you know second or third dev job. And I'm super excited to share with you guys today a report from a graduate, Doris, who had an amazing experience inside the Joy of Coding Academy and has our, she is the winner, ding, 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 top salary for any student that's graduated from the program, which we're super excited about to support you on. And we can't wait to hear about your experience. So Doris, are you comfortable with, you know, just introducing yourself for a second, you know, of, of like, you know, what, what your goals are and, and what you were, you know, what you were, what you were looking to achieve when you went on this journey to get this, this next coding job? Sure. Um, so yes, my name is Doris. I'm living way out on the West coast. So <laughs> I'm quite earlier than you guys are. Um, I have worked in tech probably 20 years or more. Um, so, you know, the old cobalt coder way back, which is not used anymore. So in December, I got laid off, but I, I started this journey uh, before that because I was in a job where they were trying to teach me, um, you know, Python. And it was kind of like it, it, an ADHD coder trying to teach you does not work. It, it, it just doesn't work because they jump from here to here to here and you can't follow. And it's kind of like, like this, this doesn't work for me. So that's why I was seeking something that was better teaching. And that's why I landed on you with the joy of coding. So it, it gave me the base to learn if I was doing it in my job or not. So with the joy of coding kind of gave me the confidence in Python that I could kind of use that. <laughs> Even though I haven't done the intern at all, I haven't gotten there yet, but I had enough like confidence to say, I've used it <laughs> in my job so I could go out and get a job. So um, yes, yeah, so on the eighth of this month, so I'm only 21 days in, I landed a job. And um, I, I would say it's a combination of 
the experience I've had for the last 20 some years in the CMS world with the CMS data. CMS is Medicare. So healthcare data. And, and that's kind of where I've been. And so now I'm going to be teaching CMS folks how to use Python to pull data out. So I, I'm on a very steep learning curve inside my job right now. I got to learn all this like very fast. But, but, you know, I have all the foundation to get there. And that's kind of what made me comfortable enough to say, I can do this job. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's so great, Doris. Thank you so much for sharing. She's been there a month. She's loving it so far. The confidence she got inside the Joy of Cooney Academy and the ability to ask questions really helped, which we love. She didn't even make it to the internship. Didn't even make it there, but that's okay. She did have some experience in, in a tech adjacent field, not coding, but in technical fields, which kind of gave her a feel uh, for what she was looking for and what she wanted. Uh, and if you do want support in getting that first dev job and you'd like some training and experience, with the Joy of Coding Academy Guaranteed Internship, just, just message us, comment here. And I just thank you again, Doris, for sharing your experience. I know I'm echoing the street, what the other uh, others in the community are saying, that we just so appreciate you taking the time with us today. And we can't wait to hear how your career continues to grow. Well, the other thing is within the, the, the you, you have calls every, or meetings or whatever you call them, Zooms every day, where you yeah, can- yeah. And there's different ones. So there's the ones on the job hunt and, and learning how to do the interview. And that was very helpful for me because I've, you know, ended up in December. I have to do interviews. So, you know, sometimes you get thrown out there and you just have to do it. But it really helped me having that, you know, okay, how to build my resume because I was like in the deeps of it and, and you know, you you can do it very poorly or you can get a little bit of help and do it, you know, because um, at least you have a little bit of a leg up if you know how to answer the question. And um, the negotiation, I definitely use that, you know, how to not go in and corner myself. I remember our little, um, what do you call the the little role plays that were happening mm -hmm. and somebody kind of backed himself in a corner and then either I get the job or you know, at the job at this level or I'm out kind of thing like you don't want to break your your you know you want to negotiate in the right way so you can come in and say hey this is where I'm at right now and this is where I want to be so I was able to kind of negotiate that and had I not had this experience through these trainings and these these things that we have learned here i would not have been able to negotiate myself to 150k right <laughs> yeah awesome doris thank you so much for sharing that's awesome what a great shout out and before we get started on that i was just curious how you're enjoying your joy of coding academy experience so far you know, it's been really good um it's been helping me to get back on track um i've been doing this uh, just trying to get it jump into the the tech world for many years um, because I have kids and so each with each kid um, it's been delaying me so this is really helping me to get back on track and helping me uh, reestablish the foundations that I learned um, at my previous boot camp um, many years ago six years ago or so <laughs> uh, so it's great talking to you Dr. Emily and I didn't expect to see you or I didn't expect you to carve out time for you know each individual so I'm I'm pleasantly surprised <laughs> I love it I love it well I love to do it and really this is a, a pivotal moment where we're really trying to help set you up for your career so this is definitely one where it where it helps and so once once you're on the internship we have other touch points that will give you personal touch as well and then when you go on the job hunt you'll also be talking with tanya as well so it's part it's partly our our handoff and our introduction but i love to do these i can't promise i'll do it forever for everyone but um, i'm so yeah, glad you got me <laughs> yes <laughs> It's awesome. It's awesome. Good. Excellent. I love that. So thank you so much, Wynn. That's awesome. I'm so glad you're having an awesome experience. Before we get started, I was curious, how are you enjoying your experience in the program so far? Yeah, um, I've really enjoyed it. I've liked the breakdown of like, it was the first time I felt like coding was doable. You know, you do so many Udemy courses and you're like, I'm literally never going to get any of this. Um, so I really liked 
the breakdown of it and like I liked using Python. I've never really dealt with Python. I was always kind of pushed to something different, but Python made it feel really doable. And thanks for creating a program like this. Like just having a place to come and be able to, like I jumped on it as soon as I heard about the internship. I was like, that's what I need because every other thing, like you just teach yourself and then, and then what, which I know, you know, is why you created this, but thank you for, I think it's like a pot of gold, what you have. So good job. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much, Cindy. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You're awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I appreciate you taking the time and, and really, and just showing up for yourself and for your dreams. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so glad that we could create that space for you to have that, those, these, all these magical insights.